We are going to solve Java basic exercises for university lab. Hello, my friend, and welcome to Master Coding channel. We have learned before uh, the Java basic concepts until the Java uh, array and multidimensional array. Now we will make exercises uh, concerning these concepts and to understand these concepts by solving the real exercises. If you want to learn coding and start your programming career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like below so you help us making new tutorials, make new courses, and make new exercises with solutions. Thank you guys. Let's begin. Starting from this video, we are going to, to solve Java basic exercises and display the solutions for it. Now, we have learned the basic concept until the multidimensional array in Java. And later on, we will continue after solving these exercises. We will start and continue Java course 102, which is OOP, which is o uh, or Object Oriented Programming Concepts and Course in Java. And we will solve its related uh, solutions. And later on, we are going to start 103, Java 103, which is libraries. And later on, we will solve its exercise. But till now, let's concentrate on, uh, on these exercises and understand the concepts. As I told you, I don't always study, but when I do, I make sure my parents could see. This is <laughs> this is the, the the real case of us. No, guys, the, you need to understand every concept and become professional in Java in order to succeed and become a professional developer. Get your pen and papers and try to solve them. Don't look first at the solutions. Okay, guys. Now let's start by the exercise one. If you want all these exercises, you can download them from uh, our, uh, you can see them and uh, show them in uh, on our uh, application called Master Coding found on Play Store. So go and check it. Now, exercise one, write a Java program that divide 30 over four and print out the results. Pause the video. Make sure you write it the code uh, on paper or you can open your IDE and start uh, solving it. Okay. Now let's go to the solutions. Now, this is our IDE. This is the public class master coding. I have made a class and public static void main. This is our main method. And here we want to put the code as I lectured in the course. Now, the question is, we need to print out the quotient of 30 over four. These are defined variables or constant variable, uh, constant uh, things that the, the questions give us. It's 30 and four. So I can store them into an int x equal to 30 and I can store y equal to four. Okay, because they are integer and I need to display the quotient. So the quotient you remember guys, it may have decimal points. So for decimal points, we use float. Okay, so I need to make float z equal x over y divided by y. This is why the question asks us, okay? x over y integer division in floating point okay and i need to display the display the quotient i create system dot out dot print so in order to display on the screen you need to use system dot out dot print and what i need to display not x and not y i need to display the quotient which is the z 
I print out the Z and click run and see the results. And here we go. It displays us the quotient, which is 7.0. Okay. But 7, 7 times 4, it is 24. It's, uh, here it's not displaying the float. I maybe put here. Okay. So system dot out dot print z so displaying like this we have seven it displaying for us seven now i don't need to change anything as you remember i if we click run here it will display seven but it is in fact the quotient is 7.5 the trick in this question is using the float and casting the float thing. If I put this, it will give me 7.0. It displays 0, 0. But what is the real uh, but what is the real quotient or what is the decimal part? I need to cast the float. So when using the float, I need to cast the float and put it like this not using like integer you can put specify the input directly float you need to put float in between these brackets let's click run and see it is 7.5 okay guys this is the solution of our question uh, there is also an another uh, another fastest way the second the second uh, way you can solve this question is by putting system dot out dot print 30 over 4 we click run and see it is 7 so it's 7 it is it ignores the decimal point it ignores the decimal point so you can cast float here and let's run 7.5 so it's very important to cast the, the the quotient for float in java okay guys this is the solution for exercise number one now let's move to exercise number two In next video so keep us making new tutorials subscribe to our youtube channel and rate us five stars on udemy so you get everything free thank you guys see you in next video